Welcome everybody, it's Mr. B here with my guide on how to get the modern bow. With update 0.69 we have a new bow in the game and I'm going to show you today how to get it. Now the modern bow is actually buried quite far down in cave 7 and you need two things before you can get it. The first one is the climbing axe and the second one is the rebreather. You will not get it through cave 7 without the rebreather and the climbing axe. So if you have both of those, follow this guide and you will get the modern bow. The first thing you need to do is find Geese Lake. Get to the top of Geese Lake where I am just now, turn left and head for the little cannibal village that's next to Geese Lake. Not really necessary for you to see all these long runs. So what I've done is I've sped the video up at these particular parts at two times speed. So that's why you hear the audio a little more clicky. And you'll see them moving a bit faster. So once you've got to the cannibal village that's near Geese Lake, and it's the cannibal village as well that's up near where the chainsaw used to be, Cave 9. You see the orange tents there? Just let them pass on your right and keep heading forward. You see the water in front of you? Then turn left and head along this little bit of land that separates the ocean from this lake on the right hand side. Just keep heading straight up. You see these trees in front of you? Keep going. Behind these trees is some rocks. The cave is in there. It's cave 7 you're heading for. Now we need to stop here before we actually enter the cave because you do need some things. The modern bow is buried quite far down in this cave, so you're going to need to take some food with you. Particularly as you'll be fighting cannibals, mutants and babies, and it is a long way down. So you'll need the food in order to keep your stamina up, keep your hunger level low. You're also going to need some water, whether that's soda or water itself uh, in a water skin for example. Because again, very long way, you're going to need to stay hydrated. You're also going to need armour. Again, because we're fighting mutants, cannibals, and babies. And finally, whatever your tactic is in taking on mutants, make sure you have what you need. Some people use molotovs, some people use fire arrows, some people use the flare gun. Whatever your particular tactic is of taking on mutants, make sure you have plenty of what you use. Now, for me to get the modern bow, I took on an armsy. I took on a Virginia and I narrowly missed taking on a second Virginia. So you may have to take on three mutants. You will also have to take on a number of cannibals and a number of babies. So make sure you are prepared. This is not an easy weapon to get. This is not like getting the katana. This is not a run along a couple of tunnels and lo and behold you have a fantastic weapon. This is going to take some time to get. You're going to have to fight your way to get it. And it's going to be a bit of a struggle, particularly if you're new to the game. But it's certainly achievable. All you have to be is prepared. Now once you enter Cave 7, you'll see a number of bodies hanging from the ceiling. And the passenger manifest will pop up. And those names will be checked off. Nothing you can do about it, that's just the manifest pops up on its own. Now you'll find some cannibals down here. And a mutant. There we go, Armsy. Bit late on the queue there, but Armsy's down there too. I tend to try and engage the mutants and the cannibals from a range using molotovs, fire arrows, flare gun, whatever. So just make sure you kill them all. The arms he can go a bit quiet sometimes as well. You think he's dead and he's not. Just make sure he's dead. Something I did notice as well actually. You see the bottle of alcohol? It's clear. It used to be in black bottles. We've obviously changed that. It is vodka which is a clean alcohol but it was always in a black bottle. Now you can see right through it. The mutant is really the one problem you have down here. The cannibals are not really much of an issue. 
So you've got an armsy down here and you have two cannibals. See, Armsy went all quiet there. He's not dead. Trying to lure us into a false sense of security. Bone arrows are good at this stage. Normal arrows take a bit longer. You can see there on the screen, it's very difficult to see, but he did bounce about there like a rag doll. So let's head down into this cave. There's nothing really down here but these bodies. Get your arrows from the arms, eh? Got these wooden walls here, and the cannibal is sort of clipping right through it. Oh! No messing about with him. Straight through the wooden wall. Made light work of that guy. We've got two wooden walls here, just go through the pair of them. Once you get through this second wall, there is no cannibals behind here. Now you're looking on your right hand side for a rope. And a little ledge like that, but it's further round. There we go. Climb down there. Down here is where the modern axe is. There's some paint, some bones, some meds, some chocolate bars. And there's this restraining order, which you can read at your leisure. Got a paintbrush as well. And remember I said it was important to eat. What we're going to do is we're going to have some food here, get our food back up, get our strength back up, or stamina should I say. And then down this rope. And you're going to keep going down a number of ropes, get to the bottom of this cave. Just remember, it is a long way down. Got a postcard, quite difficult to see on the screen. Again, you can look at that in your notebook later on. Head down this road. There are no cannibals down here to worry about just yet. This is where you need the climbing axe. You climb over the wall here. Over to this other ledge. And then down this rope. Lots of ropes. Lots of going down. This is very deep down this. You go over here again with the climbing axe, up and over. And here we go, here is the last rope for these ledges. Once you get to the bottom of this, there are a couple of cannibals and there are four babies. Also at the bottom of this, it's quite difficult to run around. Because you'll see it's all very rocky, you need to jump about in order to get anywhere. So the cannibals are over there. There's a couple of doors here. But they're on the ground. There you go, there's one. And there's the cannibals. As I said, let the cannibals come to you because as I said, that it's very rocky around here. If you try and run about, you need to jump about all the time. Cannibals even getting stuck. Let them come to you. Because they will. All that's left now is to get rid of these four babies that are in here. Or you can, do you know what? You can just leave them. But on your way back, you may forget about them when they come and surprise you. 
Again, because of the terrain, I know I'm repeating myself. It's quite difficult to get rid of. Just keep heading down this tunnel. There's only one way to go. We need some food. So always make sure you take that. Keep your stamina up. Just head along this tunnel. Only one way to go. Now you come to this kind of ledge. There's water down here. There's a rope. And you'll hear an armsy in the distance. Just head down. And there we go. There's water all through there. And there's a tunnel. Just to your left of the rope. You see some tents, you're on the right track. There's a fire here as well, you can cook up some food if you brought any with you. I'm finding in the game that you need food a lot. It doesn't last very long, so make sure you've got plenty with you and you make sure you're not ever hungry because it really does sap your stamina. Two cannibals here. I don't know why I tried to use the bow there. What would that? There's just. Stuff. Hey! Put torch on, cannibal. Get rid of these two guys. Take them all and take them out. Saki, you too. And when you take out those two cannibals, just head through the tunnel behind them. Keep going. Nothing to see. Very boring. But keep going. Cut a little Y shape. There's some meds and you'll hear that. That's the big cave where there is a Virginia. There's actually two Virginias in there. Or at least there's two I've seen. There may be more. Now the Virginia can't get through because the rock comes down too far as you'll see in a minute when these boards come down now, there you go she's stuck now that's not to say when you go and do it she won't be right in front of you but for me she was stuck fortunately so I just took her out with some fire arrow and then finished her off with some bone arrow Maybe get your arrows. Right, now you need to head round to the right. This is the big cave. There's another Virginia in here. There's also lots of cannibals, which on my way to get the bow, you don't see. But believe me, I've seen them on the way back. So just keep heading round to the right until you find the ROV in the water. The little light. You'll see it when I go up here. See the little light in the water? That's what you want to be heading for. It's pointing the way down into the water. This is where you need the rebreather. Just jump into the water, put the rebreather on. And let's go. Do you see he's pointing straight down? Because that's where you need to go. This is a long way down. Keep going. You'll see little white rectangles in the water. You see them there? I use them as markers. I just kind of swam through them. Now, I don't know if they're supposed to be markers. Or whether it was just a coincidence. But as you can see, they're up there. And I just headed towards them all the time. And there we go. We are out. Now that's the bit you need the rebreather for. Obviously, you won't be able to swim that. Now, there's nothing in here. There's no cannibals, mutants, or babies. You are absolutely fine. It does look a bit spooky, though. You've got some rebreather tanks over here. Some alcohol or booze. And you've got fire. So again. Maybe fill up some food, because you're going to have to go all the way back through all that. 
And in this video, I'm not going to take you all the way back through. It's just the reverse of getting here. But be careful when you go into that big cave just after where we met the Virginia. There is another Virginia and lots of cannibals appeared on my way back. So just be very careful. Long draw on this new boat. So, let's head back. Make sure you can pose. Look at your shadow. Looks cool. That bow looks huge in that shadow. Let's see what it's like attacking animals and mutants and cannibals. Oh, that was a close one. That's three shots for a crocodile. These normally take, it, it varies, it really does, between two and four shots. It's two shots with a modern bow. It does have a good range on it. It doesn't have that little marker like a uh, standard, that went way high, like a standard bow does. But you can use that little red boulder of the arrow. Let's see what it's like on. Wow, one shot kill. <laughs> Messed. Oh, he's eating his buddy again. So that's a two shot kill on a cannibal. Don't know if that hit or missed. Oh, right in the head. That was a headshot, though. So expecting that to do a lot of damage. That ricocheted somewhere ridiculous. That's one. That's two for that kill of that cannibal. One. So it looks like it's doing a lot of damage to the cannibals. I'm not convinced of the speed of the reloading though. It did say it was faster. I think because the draw is longer. It's actually taking longer to draw. Or in my opinion, exactly the same amount of time. I don't think it's any faster. That's three for these cannibals, although that is a headshot again. Let's see how many it takes for a mutant. These normally take about seven or eight shots for the normal bow, using bow and arrows. I'd expect it to go down now, if this is such a more powerful bow. You see, that's seven. And that is a headshot, so that's eight. For a Virginia, that's a normal amount of arrows. These are bone arrows as well. So many does an arms need to take him down. This is going to take the same number of arrows as a standard bow, I know it. There's eight. There's nine arrows. I mean, that's no different from a standard bow with bone arrows. So let's time how long it takes to fire five arrows into a tree. That's This is not very scientific. But there you go, 11.02 seconds. Let's try it with a standard bow. Remember the draw is much less than a standard bow. Nine point zero five seconds. So the standard bow is quicker to fire five arrows than a standard bow is. Now, as I said, this isn't very scientific, but two seconds is quite a lot of time. The 0.69 update notes say that the modern bow will shoot longer and further than the crafted bow and with more damage. I don't know what longer and further means. It either shoots further or it shoots longer. They're both the same sort of thing. But anyway, that aside, it looks like it does shoot further than the standard bow, as I call it, or the crafted bow, as the devs are calling it. I'm not sure it actually shoots with more damage. We've seen the comparison with the mutants and the cannibals. 
They were taking two arrows to kill a cannibal, sometimes three. They were taking eight to nine arrows to kill a mutant, which it always has taken, so that it doesn't appear that it does more damage, at least in the little unscientific test that we've done here. Now it also says, to keep the crafted bow useful, we've made it fire faster than the modern bow, as we've demonstrated, considerably faster I would say, but with shorter range and with less damage impact. So we now have two bows with different use cases, which is always handy to have. You're always better having more weapons, more choices, more options, than less. Hopefully this video prepares you to get the modern bow. Remember, be prepared. Food, water, armour, you need the rebreather and the climbing axe. If you liked the video today, please click the like button. It encourages me to produce more content. And if you subscribe to the channel or follow me on Twitter, you'll get notifications when I'm next streaming or release a video. Thank you for watching the video today. Your support is very, very much appreciated. And as always, enjoy the forest and be careful out there.